Now the die is cast yet again. Polls have closed in the high-stakes runoff elections for Turkey's next president and counting is underway as we speak. When Turkey voted last on May 14th, incumbent president Recep Tayyip Erdogan fell short of the 50% mark. But how much, you may ask? Well, just by 0.48% of total votes. So 60 million voters had to cast their votes again today to deliver a clear mandate. Even if Erdogan led the polls on May 14th, it was the toughest electoral challenge for him in the last 20 years of being in power. His main rival, Kemal Kilish Darulu, bagged some 44% votes on May 14th. The third candidate, Sinan Ogan, bagged the rest 5% of the votes. He was eliminated in the first round itself, but that did not take away focus from him. In the days following May 14th, his support, or rather the support of his voters, was important for the other two candidates to get a winning mandate. Ending the suspense soon, Ogan threw his weight behind the incumbent president. So the seasoned statesman and politician who is leading Turkey since the last two decades may secure a fifth consecutive term as well. Although ballots are yet to be counted and any surprises cannot be ruled out as of now. Pre-poll surveys have again showed a neck-and-neck -neck battle with Erdogan leading by just a percent or so. The surveys before the May 14th elections showed his main rival, Kemal Kilish Durulu, in a lead. It was argued that amid a deepening economic crisis coupled with poor management after the devastating earthquakes that shook the entire country were fueling anti-incumbency against Erdogan. But final results from round one showed Erdogan knew the game far too well. And for more on this, our correspondent Lara Villalon joins us live from Istanbul. Welcome to the broadcast, Lara. Now that the voting is over, what is your assessment on the ground? Which way is the wind blowing? Well, the mood is uh, a lot of expectation, a lot of tension uh, on the upcoming result because even though in the first round Erdogan got very close to get the presidency, to get this 50% needed to get uh, to renovate his uh, position, uh, still uh, uh, polls are showing that there is uh, around 10% of the population that are very undecided, that uh, they they are not sure if they prefer Erdogan or Kılıçdaroğlu. So there is a lot of expectation on how is the how will be the result, and especially a lot of presence of uh, voluntaries observing in the polling station to avoid any irregularity because every vote counts in this election. Now, Lara, we are getting reports of a lower voter turnout this time. Of course, in contrast to the first round. What do you make of that in terms of the voters' mood? And can this benefit either of the two candidates? Yes, uh, this we've been told as well in polling stations, but uh, they made us uh, assure that uh, the turnout didn't decrease, at least uh, for what they have seen in these polling stations in Istanbul. It's just that because they are just casting the vote for presidential elections and non-parliamentary like two weeks ago, the process of voting is much more faster. So uh, we haven't seen the lines of uh, queues of people waiting for vote that we've seen uh, two weeks ago. Right now, before I let you go, pre-poll survey speaks of a wafer-thin lead for Erdogan, mm. but similar trends were declared even in the first round where the incumbent was trusted that he had won even with a smaller mandate but had won the for in the first round itself and that of course was wrong so how are you seeing the exit polls at the moment well it's uh, very uncertain uh, like polling uh, companies uh, try to guess why they didn't uh, uh, make it uh, clear in the first uh, round like where are the mistakes and they try to make like a border uh, uh, poll like uh, with a much more variety of 
uh, people and uh, age and uh, work and etc. So uh, they try to to make it more accurate, but still, like uh, with the percentage of uh, undecided voters, it's very hard to know, like uh, if. Uh, poll, uh, polls that are pointing out that Erdogan will win are certain or not because uh, especially in the last uh, two days we've seen two polls that point out that Kilisaroglu could win so there is uh, a very unknown situation. All right Lara, thank you for getting us all those developments from Istanbul.